Good morning. Good morning. This morning our scripture verse comes from the New Testament. It's the book of Mark. It's the 11th chapter and the 22nd verse. It's very short, but it's to the point. And it says, have faith in God. It sounds simple, but you know, we really have to believe that God can do what we've asked Him to do. Yeah, bless the Lord. And Babylon, Babylon was a, an ancient city or an old city. And the king came and invaded the kingdom of Judah and took over Jerusalem and the temple. And he gathered up those people and took them back to Babylon. Now, there were four friends that were taken back to Babylon. There was Daniel. There was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they all went to work for the king in his service. Well, the king gave an order that he built, he had him to build a golden uh, emblem and told the people that every day when they heard the music, they were to bow down and worship this golden emblem. Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not going to do that because that was a false god. And they knew their god was the only true god, and that's who they worshipped. So when the king heard that they would not bow down and worship this idol, he said, we will throw them in the fiery furnace. Now, you think they were pretty scared to have to go in the fiery furnace? But you know what? They said, if, if it's so, God, God will save us, and if not, it will be okay. So they had great faith in God that He was going to take Amen. care of them. And you know what? He did. They threw them in the fire, and the, the men that threw them in the fire were burned up because the fire was so hot. And then the king looked in that fiery furnace and he said, didn't we throw three men in there? They said, yes, king, we did. He said, I see four in there. They're not bound and they're walking around and one of them looks like the Son of God. Hallelujah. And he told them to come out. And when they did, it was just three of them came out. The three that they threw in. But they weren't bound. Their hair was not singed. Their clothes were not burnt anywhere. They didn't even smell like smoke. They had great faith in God. And God rescued them. And then their friend Daniel, the king really liked Daniel. And he had said he would be third in command in the kingdom. And the other princes and presidents, they didn't like it because the king liked him the best. He trusted him. So these other people had the king to sign a decree, which is a law, saying that um, anyone who prayed to any other god but their god would be thrown into the lion's den. So when it came time for them to worship God, Daniel wouldn't do it. He worshiped his own God. He worshiped our God. And he did that three times a day, just worshiping God and thanking him for all he had done for him. So these men went to the king and said, King, didn't you say that anyone who worshiped any God or asked anything from any other God but your God would be thrown into the lion's den. He said, yes, I did. Then they told him it was Daniel. And the king was so sad because he really liked and he really trusted them. And when, he, when they took the Daniel to throw him in the lion's den, the king said, Daniel, I hope your God can save you. Because like I said, he really liked Daniel. And so they, they threw him in, they put a big rock over the entrance to the den of lions. And the next morning, the king got up early and he ran down there. And 
And he said, Oh, Daniel, are you okay? And Daniel said, Yes, Lord, I'm alive and well. And so the king, because that David had asked God to help him, and God had helped him, there was not a mark on him anywhere. God had sent an angel to close the mouth of the lions so that they would not hurt them. And because of that, because of his great faith in God, and that God had delivered him out of that lion's sin, the king decided that no one should worship any other god but Daniel's God. So we have to remember we're not going to get thrown in a lion's den and we're not going to get thrown into a fiery furnace. But no matter where you go, no matter what situation that you get into, have faith in God. Amen. And He will bring you through. Praise the Lord. And He will. Now you might get a little hurt here and there, but you ask God to take care of you in these situations and wherever you go. And He will take care of you. That's but you have to have faith in God. Hallelujah. And we'll pray. Thank you, Jesus. Dear God, we thank you for this beautiful day. Father, we come before your throne with a thankful heart, a very grateful heart, Lord, for all that you've done for us. Father, we thank you for the children. Lord, please be with them this week. Keep your hands protection around without them. Keep them from the evil one. Father, thank you for all that you do for us. We just give you praise, honor, and glory. Lord, even the little things in life that we take for granted. Thank you, Lord, thank you. And help us to remember to thank you every day. Lord, we love you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.